Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's challenge, we're gonna be installing the gloss black LED light combo uh, that I had ordered on the Subaru, but they didn't have it. It was back ordered at the time. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and try to get this on the car. I've seen it done in some other videos in professional shops, uh, but we're gonna see if the average Joe can put this together. So to get started, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket or wrench set to remove six bolts across the upper portion of the bumper. Then you'll need a flathead screwdriver or a clip remover to remove various clips across the top and the bottom portions of the bumper. All right, so we're gonna just lift out these little pop pins. And they come out pretty easily. Just like that, just pop those out. Now I'm not as familiar with these pins, but I've seen that you just push these down and then they lift out. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Here in the fender well, uh, same type of push. Sometimes with all the dirt and mud and stones that get up underneath here, they can be a little finicky to get out. And as you can see up, uh, up underneath the front lip here, just pop these loose and just work our way down. Okay, so we're gonna start loosening up the bumper. As you can see, I've already kind of pulled out uh, some of the pops here, but we're gonna go ahead and take this top piece off. We'll go ahead and sit this out of the way for now. So we'll put that there. And we'll go ahead and loosen it up. You can hear a lot of this stones and everything falling out. So we've just dropped one of the plastic pins in um, just as we work it loose so the bumper doesn't fall onto the floor. Also, the other thing you want to remember to do is undo the fog lights before you get ready to remove the bumper. So we'll just go ahead and pinch and squeeze and get that undone. All right, so I have to be honest, uh, my wife helped me uh, lower it to the garage floor. But also, this is my first bumper removal, so uh, went fairly well. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna pull off the lower assemblies and upgrade. Okay, so now we're on the back side of it. It looks like we just have a couple of plastic push pins, and we'll go ahead and pull this out and switch out the assembly. Okay, that was a little harder than I thought, but as you can see down here, you've got a bunch of these little clips that go all the way around um, actually... All right, so now we're on the right side. Uh, learned a little bit uh, from doing the other side, but uh, yeah, this is really the only push pin over here by the edge of the grill. It's the only one that we really need to pull out. And then the rest is just kind of working, working the different pins all around just with a little bit of pressure, give it a push. The fog light assembly, the uh, factory fog light assembly, stays in place. You don't have to touch it, do anything with it, just uh, leave it as is. All right, so we pop these last ones out. Got this, the old one off. There we go. All right, now that both sides are installed, see the gloss black with the LED trim. Gonna go ahead and move back here. So we have the blue wire, which was for the fog lights and then we had this pink wire which was already pre-wired uh basically connected ready to go uh plugs right into the led so it's a plug and play type system so we'll go ahead. okay getting everything pushed back into place um did have a little bit of trouble on this lower end uh sliding it into place so i found that the best thing to do is kind of tilt the top part of the bumper tilt it forward and then push that lip kind of up in there, uh, slid right into place. So other than that, everything else is 
snapped into place. So we're just gonna button things up and uh, we have a wire for the fuse box that we need to connect and then we'll see what it looks like. Um, the other thing I found, like I said, with these push pins that I'm not familiar with, you actually have to pop it up before you set it in. So once it's popped up, you should be able to slide it into place and then click. There it is. As you can see, we're up under the dash here. Here's the little change holder. If you come up underneath, you'll see the pink wire. We're gonna go ahead and pop this pin and pull that wire out and plug in the fuse. So I've pulled the wire out, I have it exposed. Once again, just matching the pink with the pink. We'll go ahead and insert this. All right. Sorry about that, got my hand in the way. But you can see it just clicks into place as the loop. We'll tuck it behind the plastic here. out of the way can't even see it nice. I'm gonna pull it out here in a minute but tell me what you think leave your comments down below but uh, I really like the look just threw a little uh, ceramic wax on there just to polish them up I think the gloss black really pops kind of breaks up that um, the matte black plastic same thing with the back with the exhaust finisher that I have on there just breaks it up a little bit haven't seen many uh, WRXs with this on, but uh, I'm really glad I did it and I really enjoy the look. So we'll see what we have planned next and I'll catch you on the next one.